That is a very fine-looking pot of honey. Here, Pooh, help yourself. Yes, mm -hmm. parchment is of a fine quality. Oh, stuff and fluff. Um, Tigger? Yes, my good man. Would you... Yo! Pooh's been around for a lot of years. It's been appreciated by millions of kids. What a lovely picnic. Oh. Somewhere around November of 2008, John Lasseter asked Don and myself if we'd be interested in picking up the reins of the Winnie the Pooh film property. And I think there was a notion to take him back to his roots, which means the featurettes that Walt did in the late 60s. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful plan. I started working on it in 1964. Nobody had any idea that, that they'd be as popular as they would be. Certainly even Walt didn't. The thing to do is issue a reward to the... I beg your pardon? Why are you sneezed? No, I didn't. The word is issue, not at you. You must be catching a cold. I'll probably catch it too. I think that there's a huge affection for these characters. And I found yesterday when I started watching the animation, I suddenly realized there was a goofy grin on my face. It's a you're taking characters that are so beloved by audiences globally for the last 40 some years. Black and blue! That was a close call there, Pooh Bear! The biggest challenge that we have on Winnie the Pooh is the legacy of the characters. You have to make sure the audience can recognize his character as though he just stepped out of the previous film. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> mm. Pooh holds a special place with pretty much everyone's childhood. Mother. Is this the play Honey. We used to love? Are you sure this is going to work? Once I get you in the tree, just hand me the beehive. Oh, mother. You know, more than anything, we're doing it to touch people, whether it's to make them laugh, cry. It's right back to the original. It's the one everybody fell in love with. From the look to the characters right. to the portrayals of them. And we're back. Someone